In today's video, you're going to get to see a gorgeous 2021 Corvette Stingray. Hello everybody and welcome to Classic Car Chit Chat. My name is Kevin. I am thrilled you're joining me today. In today's video, I have the pleasure of introducing you to an awesome gentleman. His name is Madison. Madison owns a 2021 Corvette Stingray. This is the C8 edition. He's had it since new. He is the original owner. After he got this car, he had plans to do some modifications right away and he actually did. You cannot miss this car it has 21 inch rims on it it's got a cool sounding exhaust system as though it needed it and he's even got Lamborghini doors on it this car is stunning Madison was after the Star Wars look and he created a Star Wars stormtrooper so without further ado let's hop in let's go for a drive and let's check out this beautiful 2021 Corvette Stingray Madison, rev the engine for me, sir. Okay, honk the horn. All right, come on out. Turn it off. Oh my God, man, <laughs> that is beautiful. Tell me what you have here. Um, well, this is my 2021 C8 Corvette Stingray. I bought it last year, or sorry, not last year, in 2021, I got it in March. And uh, when I had finally received delivery, I had taken it to a shop here in Mississauga in which a lot of uh, the mods that you see were completed. So you had this as part of your plan to do all these modifications? Yeah, I just had to wait for the car to show up. Um, once I got to uh, the shop with my, with my trusted crew, we sat down and we went over some details and slowly but surely this is the finished product. My God, Madison, the attention to detail on this thing. The Lamborghini doors alone just sings volumes. Fantastic. So tell me, walk me through the modifications you've done. Um, so first of all, we had got a set of 21 inch rims all around. Uh, we had them powder coated and um, painted pretty much to the specs of color code of the vehicle. Um, after that, we uh, got a Lambo door kit, which was ordered in from the States. Um, took a few moments to get that due to the uh, time of year that was. Yes. Um, You're talking about COVID, obviously. Yes, yes, yes. we are. And uh, once we received that, we had that put on. After that, we did a uh, full uh, ceramic coating and a PPF of the front. And we also lowered the vehicle probably approximately, I'm going to say three quarters of an inch. Oh, you did? Okay. Yes, we did. Okay. Um, after that, I had my front splitter in which you are probably seeing at this moment. We yeah. had the front pl splitter uh, painted and assembled. After that, I also did the back wing, and then we had also changed out uh, the exhaust system into a Paragon Touring Edition, uh, a little less aggressive due to me living in a subdivision. I don't want to wake Get up Get out of here. You're saying this is less aggressive? This is the less aggressive. Oh, now. my gosh. <laughs> you can get a racing um, edition, but I 
again, I went with the touring just to uh, tone it down a little bit. She'll, she'll purr when I want it to purr, but she'll growl when I want it to growl. Yes, I, I heard a little bit of that earlier. Yes. My gosh. Um, I also did the uh, uh, darkening of the tail lights. Uh, just sat down in the garage with a cold beer one day and took my time. <laughs> and I had that taken care of. So as you can see, I'm just trying to stick with the uh, white and black theme. I, I like to call it my in Imperial Stormtrooper. It is, right? That's what it reminds me of. So at the car show, all those stormtroopers walking by, were they part of this? Uh, no. Um, it just coincidental? I, I wanted to try to get them so I could get some pictures taken, but I lost them in the shuffle and oh I didn't my get gosh. a chance. So. Yes, you're right. It is very stormtrooper-like for definitely. <laughs> yeah. I got to ask you though, now this rear grill part here. Yes. Is that stock? Like this is the way it came? Uh, yeah, so what happened is, um, there was a, uh, what do we call it, uh, a package that I could order to remove a lot of the, the black details. So it was the grills back here and also the two grills here on the side. Okay, so they would have been black originally. They would have been black originally. Man, it pops though. This whiting out effect looks just amazing. You've done a fantastic job. Thank you, sir. It's Thank a you. work of art. I it appreciate really is. you. I appreciate you. The only problem is I, I don't like taking videos of cars that are prettier than mine, but I, I kind of made an exception with yours, Madison. This is, I just remember seeing it at the show and I thought this is extraordinary. Now, was, um, was the Lambo door kit a nuisance to actually install to get it just right? Or uh, apparently, it okay? apparently the guys were telling me um, the only uh, thing they had is because they didn't want to have to cut any wires or anything like that. So they said it took them a few moments of brainstorming in which they figured out how to uh, alter the stock uh, wire harness in which all they had to do was just turn it upside down in oh. which it allowed the wire uh, harness to lengthen to give them the ability to to open it up. But other than that, it was a pretty simple bolt-on bolt, you know, plug-and-play kind of situation. Okay. And the power door locks, power windows, everything functions perfectly. Oh, everything perfectly functions right? just just like stock. Man. Now this is the uh, stock tint on the glass, or is this dark? Uh, no, tint? I had that taken care of also. I didn't actually realize that in this model, the rear window actually goes up and down. Yeah, so it, it kind of stops the water from getting in. So they, they call it a dam. All right. <laughs> Damn, it's cool too though. Sorry, I had to throw that in. Man, oh man. Can we take a look at the engine on this beast? Sure. Let me see if I can make something happen here. <laughs> oh, Madison. You rascal. Here I am thinking you're going to fuss with it mechanically. Oh my lord. So um, at the time of buying this, a lot of people were questioning me saying, you know, why don't you get the coupe? The point of having it is so you can see the engine. And I was, I was pretty much telling everybody, it's okay. Don't, it won't take too long to be able to figure out a way so us, uh, convertible guys can can show off our engines too so Man, now, I, as you can see they came up with a this a hard plastic is ingenious yeah yeah yeah, yeah appearance yeah. package for us uh, convertible guys yeah and no problems with overheating or anything like that i took some time and waited for uh, some some reviews to kind of let me know if there's going to be any issues but and now that i've had it for a year and a half not a problem one. My God. This is the coolest thing, man. It's something else. Th this whole mechanism, extraordinary though. Right, just the engineering and the mechanics in behind this thing. And of course you got the remote control. It closes remotely uh, as well? No, there is a module that I can buy that will allow me to do that, but I haven't, I haven't taken that step yet. Man. Slowly but surely, they say the tortoise wins the race. <laughs> yes, they do. Let me go around. Even with it up like that, it looks so sharp. Very transformer-like yes, too, right? Yes, yes, very. 
Man. As though this car wasn't beautiful as she was, but then you've made it just that much better. Are you all done, Mod uh, Madison, with the modifications? Are you still got things planned? Mm, I can say no, but if there are, there are a few pieces of carbon fiber that I still want to put inside the vehicle. Um, I'm waiting to see if Santa Claus is kind to me this year and puts it underneath my tree. <laughs> but uh, other than that, I think I'm pretty much complete. Man. I'm assuming the passenger side, is that remote as well? Um, as or is that a manual? Like to, door? To open it? Yeah, No, I have to take care of that. Okay. So it seems almost effortless how, oh, yeah. how well it's operating, they're, like with the weight of they're it. Very, the doors are very light. Over the years, they've... They've managed to figure out how to take a lot of the weight out of the doors. I know some of the older Corvettes, apparently those doors are pretty heavy. Yeah. But these ones are, yeah, it's, it's effortless. It is certainly a, a work of art, my friend. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. I just like to call it something different. Oh my goodness. Now the roof as well comes off. Uh, no, it actually retracts back. I'm not sure if I can do it in the mode that it's in, but we'll give it a try. There she goes. Oh, Jesus. Oh, for crying out loud. That's enough to make a grown man cry. It is very, very smooth. Man, oh man, oh man. <laughs> I am speechless. Like, this is just an incredible looking machine. Certainly turns all the heads, doesn't it, all the shows? Well, it, it used to, and now there's a few more of them hitting the streets now, so really? I'm, not, I'm not so quite as exclusive as I used to be. So you got a little bit of competition oh, going definitely, on, Oh, definitely, definitely. Man, that's all right. But you know what? Competition generates creativity sure as well, does, so you're sure going to be does. thinking of something else next. I'd like to call myself the original. Yeah, why not? Man, what a beautiful machine. How much space do you have in the front then? Okay, so this is, a, I guess, what they call the frunk. And that's remote too? Yep. Not bad. Enough for a case of beer. Oh, maybe even two. Yeah, yeah. Push come to a shell. Yes. I have some leaves Not here bad. I need to Not clear bad. out. I guess I've been out on the roads collecting the fall the fall fallings. Yes, yes. So Madison, have you always been a Corvette kind of guy? To be honest, I wasn't really a Corvette fan due to the long front nose that they always had. Right. And the C7 head came out and I never thought they'd ever change it. So I was really starting to get into the C7. Yeah. They had a lot of angles, a lot of cuts, a lot of lines. I had a different different vibe to it. So as I was slowly doing my research on it, the C8 had hit, hit the airwaves. And it checked off all those boxes and for you, And that was a complete it? game changer yeah. for me. I know the feeling. Now it was funny because, you know, I never really told my friends about it because I didn't think that I would get it due to, you know, constraints and all that stuff. But yeah. when I finally had got it, all my friends were kind of kind of hazing me a bit, like, oh, this guy, you know, I never liked Corvette. Da, 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 yeah, da, what da. happened there, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't look like a Corvette. So, you know, it's, it's the new and improved, I guess we'll say, the Corvette 2.0. Oh, she's lovely. Hey, can you do me a favor? Can you sure. open up the rear end again? I just want to take a picture with everything possible that could open. Open. Sure. Truthfully, I just love watching it go up and down. There you go. Now with that open, I can't open the trunk. Got the it. actual trunk yeah. because it's a, uh, what do you call it? A conflict of interest. 
<laughs> That's we one way of phrasing it. Yes. This. Should we go for a little drive? Sure, why not? Let's do this. Yeah, you see? That, my friend, just shows that you're a bit of a car lover. You don't want to touch the body with your fingers. I try right? not to. I no, try I don't not blame to. You, man. Come on in, brother. Let me grab my other camera and I'll be right there. Okay, I didn't know it's gonna be like a chauffeur driven thing. They fall but now. Right. They're the worst. As long as we keep them off the body of the car. Yeah. Man. Oh, that engine sound. <laughs> That's just beautiful. Okay. All right. We're going to go out of here, my friend. Yeah, let's do it up just for the audio so all the features in here Madison like this is the stock air conditioning all the rest of it there's no other or no. even uh, cooling seats this or is, vented seats this is the cockpit very nice I love the dash on this too okay at this uh, stop sign we're turning left actually left. Okay. Yeah. something else you don't need music in this thing <laughs> we'll let the let the valves make yeah. its own beat so Madison what do you use for gas premium and lead and I'm assuming I do use a 94 octane okay as much as I possibly can when I can get it is that the Petro Canada stuff yes yeah the old Sunoco. Yeah, yeah. Back in the exactly. Day. Uh, I'm hoping our carbon tax gets eliminated soon so it'll be a little <laughs> cheaper. You and me too. Man, this is such a beautiful machine. I love how the, the tack there just kind of takes uh, the most important spot, right? Yes. So Madison, what was the very first car you ever bought? My very first car very that first I ever car. bought was a Honda Prelude. Really? Yes. Beautiful car. Yes. Nice design. Yeah? What color? White? It was black. It was black. Okay. Yes. And what year was that? I think it was a 1987. Yeah. I wish they kept making them, you know what? Because they're just beautiful shape to it. Yeah, they were kind of cool. They were. They were head turners for sure. <laughs> they had the, it had the flip up lights. Yes. yes. Right on. Now, do you drive this back and forth from Shelburne to Toronto all the time? No, this is just my. Uh, it's your toy. Yeah, it? yeah. This is my. This is my Sunday drive vehicle. Very cool. If I could find a place with a little bit of space, I could I could launch it for you. Yeah, we're gonna get there. Yes. <laughs> nice. Okay, up ahead, we're gonna make a right turn. I think it's the satellites here. So if we turn right here. I love the way it just gears down. Yeah, it's all paddle shift. Paddle so. shift, indeed. She picks up fast, real fast. She does. She? I'll let this car go by. 
if I can get her into mode. All right. There we go. Oh, look at all these options. Go. I didn't know that okay. was a thing. All right, you ready? Everybody hold okay. there. I'm holding. Wait a minute. Let me let me get my camera all set up. Hold on. Like you shot the bloody camera. <laughs> Just a minute. Last time I didn't let the guy go far enough. We caught him. I know. Too fast, right? His fault for being too slow. Okay. Wow, Madison. It takes your breath away. I love doing that too. You're just a big kid yourself, man. That's something else. <sighs> <laughs> My lord. That's beautiful though. So, so cool. So the normal setting is just regular drive? Yeah, or it's is a, that the sport? just a touring mode. Just a touring mode. So I have like five or six different... I have touring... I, uh, that's my touring mode. I have sport mode. I have track mode, and I have my mode. Okay. So you can customize it. So I can customize to what I need. Then I have a weather mode also, which will try to help me out in the snow if need be. Very cool. Hey, I just noticed too, as you were shifting, the it actually tells you the speed. Uh, on the road, like 40 kilometers an hour. This uh, yes, wow, yes, pretty interesting. Tries to tries to stop me from getting speeding tickets. <laughs> so I got to ask you: Have you gotten any yet? No, no, oh, really? Okay, knock on wood. But, okay, so far You're just so good. Careful but, how you do it. Yeah, I don't drive her too hard. I try to maintain my cool. Yes. And do you always tend to drive it in the manual mode? Uh, yeah. See, so, you know, when you don't drive it in manual mode and doing my research, it will go down into like a V, uh, V4. Okay. And what happens is it shuts off a few valves. Oh. But if you continue to do that, it's going to wear out certain valves More faster than, the others. than others. Yes. So I try to keep it in so manual mode so all the valves do stay consistent. Thing. Okay. So we'll turn right at these lights again. That's such a joy. The uh, I noticed you got the Bose sound system. Is that the stock option as well? Yes. Sounds pretty good. I bet it does too. No complaints. No. So when you got the car, it was brand new when you ordered it. And uh, in terms of the additional options you could have got, what what really were they? Um, well, there was the front lift you, you could get. Um, there was also front camera, um, a lot of the carbon fiber options that you could get, um, okay. seat coloring with the uh, Z51 package. It also gave me um, uh, some body appearance things okay. also. So a few little extra things here and there. Yeah, there was like with the with the LT3, you got the uh, the suede. Interior roof ceiling. and stuff. Yep, yep. If you went with the one of the two, I believe you had just like a, a leather kind of option. Got it. I just noticed that your rear view camera is actually a. It's not a traditional camera. It actually is a lens. So you it? can change it. Oh, that's the traditional. Okay. Traditional, yeah. or it'll come. So the camera, the camera will be located right pretty much up in here. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of looks going, this uh, my friend, for sure. Yeah, it, it tends to be a little bit of a attention grabber. As I said, I believe now that more and more start to hit the market, it's not as. But still, it's good enough for me. I'm not really one to give much attention. I don't. I don't like attention. But I guess it comes with the territory in this situation. Well, I think the moment you open the doors, it's like, <laughs> oh, hang on a second, this is slightly different than, <laughs> than the normal uh, Corvette. Right. Man, 
But do you know what I love about the car? And even the other day at the car show, it was like, it's got such a clean look because it's all whited out. It just seems to pop. Not every car can get away with this, but the way you've done it, just accidented the, a few things in the black, but the rest in the white. Stormtrooper, first Storm thing that comes to mind. That's it, that's it. Just magnificent, and we'll turn right at these lights when you can. Now, here's a question though. The car is fairly low. Over speed bumps, things like that. Do you actually, are you able to raise it? Yep, so here I have a option to be able to raise the front end probably about three inches. Okay, just to kind of get over that, yeah. So I, uh, when I do do it, it gives me the option to set it. So it will actually remember really? with GPS knowing where we're at. So, oh, wow. So if I ever go to that spot again, yeah. it'll automatically raise itself. Right, right. But she rides the bumps really well. It's stiffness to it, but in the right way. Right. So now, as I change modes, it will stiffen up my suspension, my steering. As you need it, yeah. Yeah, it'll open up a few bells and whistles for me to you know, have a little bit more fun, I guess you'd sure. say. And we turn right up ahead where the go sign is. Did you grow up in uh, the Shelburne area then? Uh, no, I'm actually from uh, a small town called Weymouth Falls, Nova Scotia. I lived there until about 18 years old, and then I moved to Halifax, Nova Scotia. Wow. And from there, I moved on to the province of Ontario, which I lived in Mississauga pretty much, wow, for about 20 years. Right. And then with the real estate, Boom, I guess we'll say. I made my way to the Shelburne area. A lot you. quieter, less traffic. Definitely. Peace and quiet. Yeah, a little Got, bit little more closer laid, to God's country. A little more laid back in my older years. <laughs> the older years, yeah. he says. You're barely 30. 30. <laughs> well, thank you for the... Uh, thank you. <laughs> well, thank old, you for no, the, I can ask you that. How old are you? I will be 50 in February. Get out of here. I shall. You look amazing thank for you, your sir. age. That's thank a, you. That's cool. Compliments are well taken. Oh, I'm impressed. Okay. <laughs> Very smooth, though. Very smooth. <laughs> Madison, what a car. <laughs> Incredible. I am so, so impressed with this thing. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna wrap it. All right, Madison, what do I say? Thank you so much for coming all the way from sunny Shelburne down to <laughs> Mississauga to come and see me with this gorgeous machine of yours. No problem, I no really problem. The pleasure it. was all mine. Oh, thank you so much.